guys. I'm sorry. I know it's been a while, and uh, I know it's been a while since I did I did a deck profile, and I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, just been a little bored with the meta, uh, earlier meta, early meta or whatever, early format. But since we got the new ban list, it's been a little difference and stuff. Um, I had meta for Yang Zing at the at the time, and before that was uh, Monarchs, of course. But for now, I'm th um, we're back. I know it's been a while, like I said, but we finally got a new deck ever since the this new set just came out, Invasion of Venom. And as you can see, I pull at least one, I need one more. But um, it is going to be totally awesome, Paleozoic. Um, I'm using the Frog Engine with the Paleozoic Traps, and of course the boss monster here, totally awesome, which was Tree Toad. But um, yeah, let's get on into it. Uh, no side deck yet. Now, I'm going to a tournament soon. I think the Charlotte one and there's a couple of ARGs that I'll be attending. So we'll see how the meta goes. We'll adjust from there. But the main deck, as far as that goes, um, three Swamp Frogs. I'll make this quick. Uh, discard a water from your hand, especially when it's summoned. Send uh, water from deck to grave. And you can always bounce it back to normal summon another monster in addition to normal summon. Uh, two Duke Frogs, just ones you would primarily send. Whenever you use the uh, Ronin tone is up, but when you're on the field, it lends into the field of grave. You add a add a frog from deck to hand or grave to hand. Uh, two Ronin, just two. Um, that's all you really need. Like you can always banish the other frogs to reoccur these. Then you got like six targets, so was, there's no reason to run three of these when they're the ones that always can come out once you banish another frog. And three Great All Slime Junior, a uh, pretty broken card in my opinion if you have a water in your hand after you number some of this you can target another copy of itself that's the only uh copy you can target so summon this target that special that they can special any level two water from your hand so it makes a rank three <coughs> sorry rank two with three materials or whatever you need right away and it's pretty good I also use herald of uh arc light too since it's a a two-star tuner which is broken so you either go tuner or exceed. Uh, Sip the monsters, low count, like 10 of them, or 11. Um, spells, uh, one card demise, I might up it to two, but for now, one's been pretty fine. Like, I wish I wish I could see it more often, but like I said, two would be that number for it. But um, I need a special sometimes, that's the only bad thing about it. One up start, and the one force burial. Uh, may come out for the demise, we'll see. But this is also a, a plus card. You can send either either a, a frog you need or a great all if you have one in hand, just to get things going. And then the traps is like like twenty eight traps or so, twenty seven. Uh, three, uh, Pakia, I guess that's how you call it. I'll just call it P. Paleozoic P. Um, discard a phantom uh, Paleozoic card to draw two cards. That's that one. <coughs> Paleozoic O. Target a spell or trap on the field. Destroy it. Paleozoic H, um, target a face-up monster, and have uh, attack and defense, so it's good for damage to that purpose. Uh, Paleozoic C, target a monster, and book it, you know, put it face-down defense. That's always good. And then Paleozoic D, uh, discard a card, target a uh, face-up card on the field, and banish it. So good for outing pendulums and other problem monsters. And um, the thing they all have in common is uh, while they're in the graveyard and you activate a trap card, you can special. You can, uh, once once per chain, special, you know, the different name ones <clears throat> from the grave. So you'll have a full field of monsters or good possible exceeds. And their archetype exceeds have to have trap material to use their monster effects at their fullest potential. So you definitely need to incorporate that. Other traps. Uh, just one jar, one legacy. Um, I got plenty of draw because uh, Paleozoic P discarded. Paleozoic draw two cards. These draw you one. So, uh, Reckless Greed draws you twos. Card of Mize draws you. Upstart, all that. So you don't need to uh, stock up on too many of those. Just enough. Uh, one Iron Wall. Um, if the traps happen to leave the field, they get banished instead. But with this, they'll just go back to the grave. So you have an infinite supply of monsters. Also deals with the VA. Um, 
Barf was useless and all that. ABC, they can't can't banish, you know, stuff like that. They have to have the out for it. Pretty sure they will. But hey, that's my spot. Slows them down long enough. Um, one mirror force. One breakthrough skill. One gumballs. One bombs. And one warning. You know, plenty of traps. Trap heavy deck. Extra deck. Um, we're going to have two tree toes. Uh, maybe three, but two is fine. Like, once you have one and it hits the grave, you can just recycle the same, you know, add it to your hand. Those extra three. So maybe just two. I don't, you know, I don't like coughing up too much money for it. 70 bucks or whatever. Um, I have three of these now, but it's going to definitely be cut to two. Um, once I get better, better exceeds to put in. But um, it's one of the new ones. Uh, you can activate your plays, though, it traps in your hand, you know, as if they were spell cards. So it's actually perfect. You can, as long as it has the trap material underneath it, when you detach a material, you can add a plays of a trap. So once you add a trap and activate it, right? So I always go for the P so I can discard one, draw two. Really strong. Another one that'd be at two later. Um, it needs three level two orders to make it. But um, as long as it's a trap, you can discard a uh, detached material to destroy a cardinal field. And when a trap is sent from the spell and traps onto the grave, excavate the top card of your deck. If it's a trap, add it to your hand. If not, it's in the grave. Majority of the deck is traps, so you're pretty much an excavated trap. And unless you add it, so add a warning, bombs, pulse, whatever. Um, card shark. <clears throat> Cat shark, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless you uh can't destroy it as long as it has water materials underneath it. And um you can double rank four lower uh, original attack of, of your choosing when you detach when you detach the material. I guess the Phoenix I need. Number forty five and Sky Calvary. Um uh, Arma Kappa once I get it. Down nerd. And Herald Arc like like I said. Um, you can usually go for slime, uh, great all slime. You can have like a, four monsters. You can make this and totally awesome to really lock your opponent out, I guess. I mean, you could make two totally awesomes, but they might not be able to do things with a lot of this up versus the game card outright, you know. But that's really it. Um, like I said, sorry, forgive me for the late deck profiles and. And all that I haven't forgotten the channel. I've just been, I've been doing a lot more with my fighting game community, the FGC, more, a little bit more than than the TCG currently. Like taking a break from DBZ, I was taking a small break from Yu-Gi-Oh. But now that it sets out, pretty much back at it again. And we'll see. You know, we'll we'll keep at it. I'll let y'all know when I have another deck or whatever, and we'll keep things going. But that's all. Um. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Share and thumbs up. All right. Thank y'all for watching. This is Elliot Amazing. And as always, y'all have a good one. Enjoy y'all night or day. Take care.